everybody. Welcome back to CNS Corvettes in Sarasota, Florida. I'm your friendly Corvette guy, Lyle, and I'm here to talk to you about Corvettes today on my podcast. Uh, one of the things I'm going to tell, actually the main thing I'm going to tell you about today is we're going to talk about C4 Corvettes, specifically C4 Corvette Easter eggs and secrets, things you may not know about your C4 or the C4 that you're thinking about buying. We're going to do five of them, but there may be a bonus one at the end, so stay tuned till the end. If you would, take a moment to like and subscribe down below so that we can continue to make these videos for you and bring you this kind of information. Let's get to it. 1984 to 1986, 1996, C4 Corvettes. Had a lot of interesting, neat features. Uh, a lot of them, people who've owned the cars for 15 or 20 years don't even know about. And so we're gonna cover some of those things today. Number one, you actually have a light shining on your shifter. Now that isn't all that important for an automatic, but for someone who may be unfamiliar with the stick shift car pattern and who is driving the car at night and can't see the shift pattern, GM included at the bottom of the rear view mirror right here. See this little slit right there? That is actually a light that shines a dim orangey yellow light onto your shifter and gives you enough illumination to see the shift pattern. Most people don't even know it exists. They had those from 1986 late through 1996. So if you have a car of that vintage, you have a shift light and you didn't even know about it. Item number two. Everybody who owns a C4 pretty much knows about, you open the center console door and there's a great big yellow button. You push that to open your hatch or to pop the tonneau cover on your convertible, right? Well. A lot of people don't realize that on the back edge of the driver and in most years the passenger door there is this little switch on the back edge of the door panel and if you push it down it opens your rear hatch or it flips your tonneau cover up. The nice thing about that especially in a convertible is once you duck into the car to undo the latch for the soft top to get it off the tonneau cover you can hit this switch without having to duck back under the, the top to get to the center console and push the yellow button. It's really handy that way. But this was on both sides of most cars. Uh, I think they eliminated the passenger side in like 95, but this is a, most people don't even know what this is. They don't even know it's there. So if you have one of these cars, look for it, use it. It's valuable and it's easy. Number three, or as they would have done in Glorious Bastards, Number three, seat belts in a C4. The C4 was the first Corvette that was really built with the intent of people actually using it on the track. As part of their track focused philosophy, especially 84 through 89, uh, they added a feature to the seat belts that had never been in a GM car before. And it is a little button. So here is a C4 seat belt, right? And it's, it's like this in your car, right here. And there's a little button right here that says cinch. Well, what cinch does is when you have your seatbelt around your body and you wanna go do some spirited driving or going on the track, you press that button down and lock it in place and that seatbelt will only go inward further. It will not come out and loosen up. So it basically becomes more of a harness than a normal seat belt that allows for kind of freer movement around the cabin. And to undo it, you push it again. So cinch button on the seat belt. Pretty cool, especially for a car that was meant to be on the track, at least in 1984, 5.6. Do you know how to check the mileage on a 90 to 96 C4 Corvette without turning it on? I'll tell you. If you open the door, and turn on the parking lights, your mileage will display, the center display will light up and it'll come up with your mileage. In fact, that works on 90 to 96 C4s and all C5s and all C6s. So if you ever need to know mileage, just turn on the park lights, boom, it's right there. You don't have to get in, you don't have to turn on the car, you don't have to mess around with anything. Good little tip. One of my very favorite Corvette Easter eggs happened in the very late, like 88, 89, late 80s, up to like 90, 91 maybe. I'm not quite sure of exactly which years they did this and which years they didn't. But specifically in the convertibles, under the carpet, 
near the rear speaker. Talk about a really, really bizarre location that you would never see unless you had the car apart. There are four things molded into the fiberglass by Chevrolet. There's a baseball and a bat, there's a hot dog, there's an apple pie, and a Chevrolet symbol, all in a line. In fact, I'm sure that my editors put that up while I'm talking so you can see it. This was such a cool Easter egg, and almost nobody knows it exists. I've only had a couple of cars here that we parted out that I had seen this on and had known about it for a few years. The reason they put that on there was because at the time that that car was being made, the Chevrolet's ad tagline was, baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, Chevrolet. Because everything was as American as it could get, right? And in fact, if you look uh, in the coupes of the same years, you're not going to see that little set of embossments in the fiberglass. But if you pull up the carpet in the back, you will see two cross-hatched baseball bats, one on each side of that flat passenger compartment. Now, those were put in there to strengthen the bottom of the uh, storage compartment in the back, but the fact that they did them in the shape of baseball bats was pretty cool. So that's five things that you may not have known that were special features and Easter eggs about C4 Corvettes. However, I'm gonna give you one more, and this one is really, really bizarre. Almost nobody knows about it. From roughly 1984 through 1993, there could be an, a year or two difference at the end there. I know that they weren't on 94, five, and sixes. Corvettes actually had an auxiliary light under the rear bumper under the rear bumper, that unless you were under the car looking up, you would never see. It was to illuminate the spare tire should you have to drop the spare tire tub and change a tire at night. And the way you would turn that on was either leave the door open and the courtesy lights would stay on, or you could go to your uh, headlight switch and turn it so the interior lights came on. That light would come on so it would illuminate the work area while you were diligently working not to die on the side of the road trying to change your tire in 1986. But it is such a bizarre thing to add to it. I don't think it's ever been in any owner's manual. I don't, uh, it's, I don't think it's even the service manual. It was just something they did for those years. And it's the same light that they use for the license plate light, like that little plastic spade with the, the lens on it. It's the most bizarre thing in the world that they thought far enough ahead to say, hey, Someday, somebody's going to need to change a tire at night on the side of the road, and they're not going to be able to see what they're doing. So we're going to put a light back here. You know, for a car that had its uh, engineering foibles, that was pretty, pretty cool thinking, uh, doing the best they could for the Corvette buyer. So that was your bonus Easter egg. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If there are other things that you know about C4 Corvettes that are special features that are little known, or that uh, might be considered Easter eggs that GM put in there that are kind of cool, by all means, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you have pictures of some of these things, please add them as well. You can reach me at Lyle at CorvettePartsCenter.com, and I'll be back again in a few days with some more interesting tidbits for you about Corvette. In the meantime, have a great weekend.